ankylosis is the most important biological, uh, I mean, solution in grafting. Okay. So then coming for many years, uh, there are studies now, Malmgren and before him, that uh, used uh, ankylos teeth for any reason, traumatic and so on. They did decoronation and left the root, the whole root inside, okay? And if you extract the tooth and you still have the root inside and it's not infected, the root will stay there and will slowly resolve, but it will not produce any problems with it. But it will maintain, the most important, it maintains because it's ankylos to bone, and therefore it maintains it as we, saw, as we spoke before. Okay. Now, I would say I will give the credit of doing it in a, in a nice way to the South Koreans. They had like a system, a dentist was extracting a tooth, sending it to a bank. They did it, crushed it, uh, grinded it, and so on. It's important to the particle size will be more than 200. And this is because if you put any kind of graft lower than 50 microns, the macrophage will uh, eat it and will become giant cells and so on. Is that the particle, is that the particle size? Yes. Yes, it's important that the particle size will be more than 200. This way you will switch the M1 to M2. And, and, that's, and what, what are the units on that? 200 microns. Mi microns. Micro. Micro Micromillimeters is called. So it's a, it's a volumetric, a volumetric um, uh, unit. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a meter, micrometer. Sorry. Okay. Okay, so that's... Microns. Microns, okay. Microns is um, one millionth of meter. So, so for example, if we had to compare it to, let's say, conventional allograft, and we typically... The uh, same? So, so it's the same, same particle yeah, size as a conventional material. allograft material. You know, I, I will just make a point here about the particle size because it's important. Uh, many... I, I, had a, I had material, yes, a, a bioglass material. Uh, produced by a German company. Excellent, as I said, very good. I had a, an animal system which I could test very fast if they are active producing bone or not. And then they said, you know, I, I have now a syringe. Yeah, it's fantastic because the dentists love it to use the syringe. So I, I took the syringe and I did the same test. And I got a lot of giant cells, no bone. Although I use the same uh, bone marrow to produce to have osteogenesis. And I looked at the size of the particles and they were very tiny. Mm. So the macrophage have the sensors to identify. They know the surface, they know the the the, the particle size. They try to engulf it. If they cannot, they said, okay, so I have to. So this is good substance. I, I have to, to make uh, material on it. I produce okay. it. So, okay. so, we can, so we can extrapolate, and I don't know if, if it's possible, can we extrapolate that the same particle size or the same, the same uh, intention would be for other graft materials? So if you use very small particle size, it's actually a disadvantage. Disadvantage. Okay, great. So that's that's a great clinical yes, tip. Very important. Okay. Okay. Yes. Sometimes so, they don't admit it, but this is a disadvantage. Okay. That that that's good. That's great the to point know. Is that usually, those small materials. I mean, they will they will give you a, a the inflammatory phase will be prolonged. Mm. Okay, and you don't need it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. That's that's very important. Now, if information. we come back to the dentin graft, yeah. Okay, of course, as we discussed it. So, if we can, and the problem with the dentin graft, the main problem which we had, I mean, which we developed, is you know we extract you extract the tooth. You cannot wait one week to get the, it a nice particulate to graft it back because the wound healing is not waiting for you. 
-hmm. It's going. It, the pace is going. And you disturb it, it's a problem sometimes, right? Disturbing the wounding. So this is why we developed this. And we had essentially one problem which we discussed was a particle size, and this was easy. Mm -hmm. The second problem was how to make it bacteria free, how to get rid of all the what is bound to the and and here we have an advantage in the dentin. What is the advantage in dentin? Also the same in membrane as bone. Then when the matrix, the osteoid or the or the matrix is mineralized, the mineral is protecting the organic material. This is essentially most important for the dentist because otherwise, if you would heat and this will not be protected, the organic, the, all the proteins will be degraded. Mm -hmm. Yes, because they, you deform them. So the mina is first of all protecting all the matrix. So all the problem in dentin is superficial. Okay, the bacteria are superficial. The plaque, whatever you have. So you can get rid of it easier. The problem in dentin is also that you have to get rid from the tubuli mm -hmm. to make clean the tubuli. And, and that's the, the dentinal, that's the dentinal tubules that, that yes, are basically tubule. infected. Essentially, yes. Uh -huh. And okay. this is what the cleanser, and I was thinking about many things, how to make a cleanser that will not be, you know, on one hand will be effective, but on the other hand, it may produce another toxic material inside brain. Mm. And this is why we came out with the simple cleanser, which is also bringing sodium. Yes. And sodium we have in, uh, in our blood and everywhere. We need sodium, right? Uh, this is the saline, whatever. <laughs> yes. So it's not a problem, but it's very effective. It's cleaning fantastically. Okay.